The sun sets in the ghetto and the dollar gets made Young and strapped with heavy metal, they ain't try and get played As the sun sets in the ghetto uh, The sun sets in the ghetto After the Joe deal facilitate or uh, doesn't facilitate when I decide to stay independent But I'm still with Joe Oh, so like got he takes you. me on so, the road with him and he's paying me to be on the road with him and do all that stuff. So I'm like stacking bread and promoting my shit, selling merch and doing all that on the road with Joe though. Oh, nice. Yo, if you want some beer, send us some beer over there. Right, yeah. So I'm holding him down and I'm performing and I'm rocking with him all over the world, but I'm still doing feed. Basically, I already want to fuck with you, so just come, like you said, just come with me, just come and let's me. just do it like, like street, like kind of like you yeah, my nigga from the block. Me. Like, yeah, yo, man, hit you, me. just like, come, and we'll get paid some and bread, shit. whatever yeah, you yeah, need. Yeah. I'll help you, if you promotions, yeah, yeah, all that type yeah, of stuff. Yeah. By the way, because I be seeing y'all like at the Knicks games. You be around. So just I see me, you at Funk me. Flex showing up with the Ace of Spades yeah. with the with the Mister Choo Choo Choo. Bing Bing Bang. You know what I'm saying? And y'all be living good and doing nice things. See, this leads me into my next question, you know. Um, I seen how Joe treated me when I met him that day, right? Mm -hmm. I seen how Macho was. I seen kind of how he moves around. I seen when I seen him on Bleaker, because Peter Guns was there. So when he seen Guns and he seen me, because you know, Guns is his man too from Punk. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yo! What was your relationship like with Terror Squad? Fat Joe just came through this motherfucker. He was sliding through, like I said, like, you from the Bronx, you connected to certain things, like, uh, your relationship family, with family, Terror family, Squad, family, family. Big Pun, do you Big got pun. any funny stories with Big Pun or anything? Because every time I see, like, somebody mention him, they always talk about, like, how he was spraying niggas with water guns or doing this or doing that or whatever the fuck. Like, like what was your experience like building with them being from the Bronx and all that? Uh, me and Pun had, you know, like I said, me and Pun had fun. We had a lot of fun stories. I mean, the, the most memorable thing about Pun was when I had, like, shut down, me and Tariq shut down from the industry, he was trying to always drag me to the studio. He was like, nah, y'all too nice, man. Y'all got to keep going, man. Like, because he saw it and dreamed me, like, the, the industry. The politics. Yeah, dreamed me. So he was always trying to get me in the studio. So he would, he would have, like, fucking... Uh, 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 sixty, seventy-five thousand dollar watch or ring on, and 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 give it to me. And say, yo, you see what I just bought? And I look at it, and he'll just drive off. If you don't come to the studio tonight, that means you stole my ring. He seems to just always show a lot of love. So when I see a person like maybe um, like a Cuban link online saying the things that he says, I don't really want to get into what you think about that because who cares? That's none of our business. That's between them, right? But do you think that Joe shows so much love and makes you feel so fucking down and a part of the family and you're just like living your best life and when that shit gets cut off, it's like going back to the projects with no lights, no water yeah, and much. you're just in a fucking hellhole. You just said it. Is, is that pretty much it? You just said it. Yeah. I can't say it no better. No, no, no. I, I think I broke it down, right? I go from eating shrimp and riding in Panama. Oh, yeah, there you go. And doing all that, twin, yeah, living yeah, in lobsters. Yeah. With stars. And, you know, Derek Jeter and all that good stuff. Derek Jeter, the Yankee games, yeah. being at Jimmy's, Maybe everything. Back chilling, twin in the hood. So, yeah. Now you on the block with beef patties again. You know, but no, it's not to make a comical situation out of anything. That's just what I do. But I was just wondering, I think that... I, I don't think wanna... I, No, I think a lot of times that in life, when people are riding high on the hog, they because it's happened to me when I was young. I was lucky enough to get arrested at 13, to move through life a certain way, get arrogant at a younger age, and not really do it later on in life, right. in particular situations. You know, but some people get those situations later in life and then they learn from them. But I just think that Fat Joe shows so much love. He has so much shit on lock. He can really maneuver so many pieces on the board that when that shit is gone, I think niggas think that maybe they can move those pieces too. You think you could wear the same shoes as me. You think you could walk in the same spot and get I the same so, love. I think so. I but think so. I, um. I think that people override their position sometimes and maybe don't understand where they're coming from. But then you'll have niggas that be like, yo, he robbed punk. And then I see stuff like that and I'm like, damn, son. 
and then I guess this was like this and this was like that. But I, I also try to implore on people that um shout out to my man Vinny Idol. He told me that yo, there's times that I had to wait two years to get a clearance for something from let's say Sony mm -hmm. to clear something for somebody to get my check. That's a fact. It's not that I did not want to give it to you. Is that the lawyers of Sony said, let's pause for a minute. And then the lawyers at Paramount said, hold on, we're on vacation for two months, motherfucker, because we live good. And then by the time I got back to this and that, not a fucking year done went by. The check has been there the whole time. That's a fact. It's just that there's fucking, people think that it goes like, boom. And it doesn't work like that. And I think that's another thing that, because people don't understand business. You have people that want to exaggerate things, pump things up. And I want to do this for Joe right now, in a sense. And I know you fuck with him like that. To explain these things to people. So when they hear these stories from people, but when they see real life stories, it's very different. Why? Like, if he's such a bad dude, why is he taking you to Dubai? If he's so corrupted, why are you signed to a 360 deal? Why is he not in control of your merch and your whole career? Every situation is different too, Twenty, You know, like, I don't know. So. No, I don't know about what nobody's doing and I don't know about what happens in transgressions when people are young. Mm -hmm. But I have to believe that a person always has the same heart. Mm -hmm. But I think when you're younger, if you start fucking with me, I might start fucking with you a little faster than I would at 40. Yeah. You understand? Head, yeah. So I just think it's like people learning and living, living together. But like I said, when that fucking drain gets shut off, there's no water, the dishes are piling up, the laundry's in the corner, and things are getting a little hectic. Nigga, you start feeling grimy. You want to be gangster because you have nothing to live for. You're like, yo, nigga, I'll fight the whole projects. You don't want to do that. Why? 